Yeah, that is so phenomenal. What's some more ways that the community can get involved in like supporting this? I mean, just like making it known to people. Uh, talking is the biggest thing. Just get out and talk and uh, try to, you know, f uh, find the areas. Uh, mm -hmm. would, would, would love to get a program going where we could it, get people involved that would search the courthouse records, uh, the, you know, where the court, the judge ordered and, and see if we could go back and find some dates on it and find out where the, the covered bridges were at in Kentucky. Oh, actually, yeah. In Kentucky. And then rebuild them, put them back. Yeah. Because, you know, that's such a, you know, a lot of the young people today have never even seen a bridge like this. They don't even know it existed. No. You know? Well, I mean, I'm 52, and uh, I was probably in my 40s when I saw my first one. Oh, that's something. But... Uh, Indiana, uh, Pennsylvania has the most covered bridges mm -hmm. by state, and in the western, Oregon has the most covered bridges in the western states. And it's so beautiful because some of them's over top of a, of a river yeah. and uh, around in such scenery, you know, and they carved out these roads throughout the, the woods and the mountains, and, brother, they did some work back then. Yeah, with horses and little scoops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were pretty well. Uh, I, I have seen one bridge, uh, it's the only one in existence in the United States, but it's in Indiana. It's called the Aqueduct Bridge. Ah. Oh. And uh, they had the uh, Wabash Canal. And uh, it came, the canal has to be level. Mm -hmm. So when they, they start off with the canal and it's level when they come to a creek, that water has to cross the creek. Mm. So they build a bridge that carries the water over the creek, so you got a bridge of water over water. Mm -hmm. And uh, Washington, D.C. had a huge one back in the air. It was built around 1832, and uh, it actually had a canal that carried barges over into Washington, D.C., and uh, had two uh, uh, rails up there where the mules walked that mm -hmm. pulled the barges. Then on top was a uh, roadway and sidewalks on the side. That is so good. What's the difference in, in these bridges and what people call natural bridges? Natural bridges are the ones that are naturally carved through stone, mm -hmm. through, through erosion or, uh, you know, some, some type of water. Okay. But uh, uh, most of them are wind, created by wind. But like I say, a lot of them are water too. They, it's, it's a river gorge that comes through. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. You know, that gives people a lot of history because they don't really really realize how these bridges are formed and, and what has took place to put these bridges here. I mean, there's a lot of work involved in this. And preserving these artifacts is even uh, uh, even more work. Yeah. They, uh, if you can rebuild them, if, like I say, if you keep the roof just like a house, if you keep the roof good on them mm -hmm. and the siding good on them, because you, what you don't want is water to get in on inside of the trusses. Oh. you got to preserve those trusses. That's what holds everything up. And if you keep the siding on it, if there's a loose board or cracks or something, they need to be fixed. And then the roof, you don't want them leaking down on them. Exactly. And uh, a lot of people wondered why covered bridges were covered. And they said it's to let horses so they're not afraid of the water when they go across. But the reason for the, the roof itself was to keep water off of the timbers. They don't want the timbers wet. They don't want them rotting because that's what holds them. And it keeps wind and weather. And they said uh, they, they usually have runners, little wooden boards that's nailed down on top of the, the wood planks mm -hmm. on the roadway. And uh, some people wonder what those were for. That was uh, an alteration added when they started getting cars mm. because the old wood bridge, when you come across them with a the wagon, they just run over the boards. But when a car came along, they were a little bit quicker. Mm -hmm. And when they hit the board, the board would flip up and they'd pull the nails out. Mm. So they'd put runners down and the car would run smoothly across those runners and it wouldn't shake the boards up and down. Oh, that's something. Mm -hmm. I, I'd say that there's more bridges out there that haven't been discovered yet. Yeah, there has been. Uh, there's, uh, there's another group called Covered, Span uh, Covered Spans of Yesteryear. Yesteryear. And, uh, they, that's a group of engineers. Mm -hmm. And they have been trying to preserve and, and uh, try to get as many pictures as they can of the old uh, covered bridges. And they've got uh, numerous states listed, and all of those pictures are recorded and what information they can get from them.
how can people join these organizations? Like if they want to be a member of this and just get right involved in it and go to town with it. They've got websites you can pull up on it. Uh, you can search for covered bridges and they'll pull up, uh, you know, at least 30 or 40 different sites on okay. it. And you can get interested in it. Because there's a lot of people going to be watching this on Facebook. It's going to be on YouTube. It's going to be everywhere on the Internet. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people watching on the way of Internet, TV, or radio would like to get involved in this, you know? Yeah. Or you can send me a, a, a message on Facebook and uh, find out really, you know, what they're wanting to do, what type of involvement they would like to get into, mm -hmm. and uh, we can go from there. Oh, that sounds great. Some people like limited, uh, you know, engagements, and some mm -hmm. people like... Some people just like me just go over and jump all the way in. <laughs> now you got all kinds of pictures here. Is these yeah. from different places that you've traveled? Yeah, these are uh, pictures of cover bridges that's here in Kentucky. Some of them before, some of them after. Oh, that's that's something. Yeah, some of them are still there. There's been a couple of them that's been. We've got a, the shortest covered bridge in Kentucky is in Bath County. Bath County. Yeah. And and people can see all these pictures on your Facebook. Uh, we're getting ready to put them on. Okay. Matter of fact, I was over 